today's video we are going to see how we can perform a man in the middle attack using a cane enable software so before we begin we begin so i would like to tell you some uh, something very you know special about this software cane enable as per the website says that it's a uh, windows password recovery software but the disguise thing over here is that you can do a hell lot more things uh, using this software so uh, we need to always so i have already installed the software and i'll just fire it up so we need to uh, open the software with the administrator privileges so i'll just open up kn enable and today i'll be using kn enable along with the wireshark tool to monitor the traffic which will be redirected using the mitm attack so uh, just a little bit knowledge about uh, man in the middle attack or mitm attack so what we will be doing it today is like we will be doing a poisoning on the router in our local network and after that i will be able to route the traffic towards my machine and when it's uh, going to be routed through my machine i will be able to see what are those uh, ip packets or what are the things that other people are doing in the network so uh, before we start we need to configure the enable and i'll i'll configure it for my this particular interface having this particular ip address so i'll just click here and apply and okay after that i just need to click this option <coughs> to activate the sniffer and before we start the poisoning uh, i just need to go to the option called a sniffer and i'll clear off the previous previous devices and go to the host section and click on add and it will scan all the hosts that are available in my network so this much of people uh, this is my router basically and these are the other devices connected on this uh, network and now we will begin the uh, poisoning so uh, i'll click on arp option and i'll remove previous entries and now i'll start the poisoning and before that i'll uh, so this is something like uh, on the left side there is my router and on the right side are the other devices and i'll be in the middle and will be performing a mitm attack i'll click on okay so uh, i'll select them and i'll click on okay and then i'll start the poisoning so as you can say it will it will it's going to take us somewhat i think 30 to 40 seconds to start the poisoning and the uh, uh, traffic will be able to okay so yeah finally we have started the poisoning and the routing is now being done successfully so initially it will start with half routing and then successfully at last we will get a full routing and i can see some packets are being transferred on my interface now i'll go to wireshark utility so this is basically utility which uh, i can use to monitor the traffic which is going through my device so i'll go in the wi-fi option and now i can see these are the packets that are being redirected by my device and the other devices that are being rerouted to this particular device just because of the poisoning that we are doing using the k-enable tool so i can see uh, the sources in the sources i can see look for the other ip addresses like i can see for 1.4.131 so uh, let me see if i can see what this person uh, okay let us see for, let us check for this person having this particular ip address dot 100 uh, or dot 102 so we can use the filters in uh, Wireshark utility like um, IP dot ADDR equals to 192.168.102 So this is going to show me the only packets that are being transferred from this device So uh, I think we we'll let me uh, address 102 okay, okay. going to take some time by the time the uh, packets for these particular devices are being routed let us see what are the HTTP packets because we are mo mostly concerned with what things the people are surfing on the internet so for that we just need to give a filter called as HTTP so uh, these are the HTTP packets so I can see that uh, this 104 device over here has requested for some packet to the has requested has made a request basically to the router and that request was rerouted through my particular device so i'm able to see what this person is doing on the internet so i can go for the http protocol and see what are the requests so it's basically a service uh, discovery protocol request so uh, we can go for other we can go and search uh, 
uh, okay so this is some interesting request this person has made and i am able to see that he is using the facebook and <coughs> and able to see the request and i can able to if i am successful i can able to hijack the session id and able to successfully uh, log into this particular facebook account so this trick can also be used to hack into the facebook accounts or maybe the gmail and see what other people are doing on the internet so i hope you people like the video and i'll i'll try continuing my efforts to provide resourceful videos to you people thank you